welcome back in tech dev studio and in this video we're going to create a mobile game and we are also basically going to be learn that how you can create a basically mobile game for ios and android for both and after that end we are going to upload it on google play store and app store as well so let's get started the first thing for create a mobile game first you need to choose a right engine okay uh, i'm not talking about uh, like unity or unreal engine. i'm talking about unreal engine version okay so if you go to the epic marketplaces there's a now tons of engine available like from 4.2 uh, 5.3.2 okay so even i have a couple of four engine and more four source build engine so i have total eight engine in my pc however so at the point okay if you uh focus at here i'll let me just try something like that so you can get more focus at here okay fine so at here if you uh, see that 5.1 5.3 and 5.2 and 4.27 i probably recommend to use uh 5.1 uh if you have 4.27 it's not very uh, too much issue but uh it's going to be face problem for sdk and dk and jtk and loss of export issue related with 4.27 so i suggest you to use 5.1.1 which i'm going to use uh i even don't recommend to use 5.2 or 5.3 either because this both version have lots of shader issue and compiling issue as well also the they both uh, engine have uh, some different type of sdk requirements so at this point i suggest you to use 5.1.1 which i'm also going to be used we are going to use additionally more three plugins at here tds hero plugin uh and easy network tds and also one more plugin for our which is basically easy mobile touch tl so these three plugins help us for our mobile project as well this three projects is very needed so just install it okay so once you open your engine now for because now you have you need to have a idea about your game like what are you going to develop so in my case i'm going to develop a realistic but also a good uh, content game on i want to make it kind of like an open world so yeah but it should be in a mini uh, mini open world we can't make a super huge level so we need to keep it in mind so i'm going to choose as uh if you can see that mobile and the quality preset is maximum so we can use pros process and other thing as well and then i'm not going to choose it uh started content because it's not needed that's why and let's give it our project name i'm going to give it at unreal uh unreal next gen next gen 5 because it's a kind of like i know the category and for mobile and uh, yeah probably going to use a uh, mobile so it's going to be uh, specify that okay we are going to develop for this so now let's create a simple project now once we create a project make sure i'm going to use the blueprint as well now the third part is to use a proper asset pack okay but we are also need to do some configuration in our project settings so let's uh you know let's first fix this thing in this part and in second part we are going to be add the needed asset what we basically need and we start some development as well so now the engine is uh, loading and after that engine load your first duty is to create uh, some basic settings which is really really needed and yeah it's much needed otherwise it's going to be very very difficult for you to navigate the project in a, f a feature so yeah i'm not sure why is the engine and why it didn't open yet i'm not sure uh yeah okay it's open i guess uh, i'm opening first time for now like for today that's why uh okay so it's quite enough done the shader compile and we have a simple third percent uh engine okay so first what we need to do we need to go to settings and add from engine we need to choose it as a high we can't use epic okay so keep it in mind we are going to use high and then what i'm going to use i'm going to first go to the plugins i'm going to uh others uh yeah i currently doesn't have the my tds plugins as well at here so let's first install that okay so you can go to the market and search tds and here you find the tds engine so i'm going to install for 5.1 so in the new tds plugin it's have quite quite enough some new uh blueprints as well at here okay the first uh, new blueprint at here it's come with 
the the network system okay now it's currently have some networking time uh, time counting stuff it's already have inbuilt graphics controlling system like mobile high graphics low graphics max graphics and pc high low and max so we need this thing and third we need this texture streaming pro so it's going to be fixed this issue as well and from this uh dev helper we can use the mouse setter and ui widgets and also it's have in real touch system as well so we can probably use that as well so yeah so this plugin have huge thing also it's going to be fix our sdk issue and 14 plus supports issue and billing 6.2 issue and google gamepad fixer as well so it's have tons of stuff so yeah we probably need this so now we have the tds0 plugin and yeah I'm not sure why it's showing this uh, old one, the old icon. <laughs> I'm not sure. So, so guys, I'm saying I'm, I'm not sure. So let's go, uh, just give it a restart. Uh, let's see. Okay, currently we have everything. Let's go to the blueprints and I'm going to just ch give a check that TDS. Oh yeah, it's quite enough. I have the plugins and the blueprints as well. Okay, fine. Okay. The first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to first because you can see my editor have some weird stuff. So I'm going to give a default lay, uh, load layout. So it's going to be uh, enable this thing. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now what we need is basically we need to go uh, because if you see this is a third person, but we need it. We need to create an open world map, right? So yeah, we need an open world map. We need to create everything from a sketch. Okay, there's a tons of stuff we need to do. So let's go start. So first I'm going to create a map okay this map allow us to uh, indicate okay this have our all maps that's why and then uh, instead of that i'm going to create a level called what i can give it in let's give it in a map one okay so map uh map one okay fine so in the map one this is basically our the first uh, level where our player going to be played now at here because we want as a it's a open one open world but make sure the open world is a really huge world like we do make lots of landscape huge stuff so i'm going to use the world partition as well okay so you can go to the settings world settings and here you find here that enable world composition use client slide uh, level streaming because this is needed and what we need more i'm not sure yeah so while it will consider it the world partition so it's blah blah stuff so we can fix it later i'll show you that how you can fix this uh, in a later so if you click now in the layers you find probably something like this okay a panel and then we need one more call levels so this is really needed so i'm going to click at here so this is going to be make our all this stuff and at here we can we need a layer so uh in the layer we can decide everything that's why okay that was cool okay fine and there should be a world uh world let's see if i miss it world composition enable uh, uh okay seems like all okay okay the first thing we need now some sub levels at here so which we are going to use so sub one okay which is basically it's needed so i'm going to give it name uh, lv1 and instead of that lv1 i'm going to create a landscape at here okay and it's not going to be make uh, too much bigger or smaller okay now you'll be say that bro how you're going to be understand that is it's not very big or it's not very small for your character guys basically you need to just give a test at here on this uh landscape so you'll probably get some idea about okay like if it's good or not that if it's load enough it's good for you to load and unload or not so i'm seeing that this is okay but i need probably some bigger uh because uh if i uh choose to one to two uh two two is more better for this one okay and also i'm going to do one more thing uh so simply just as you can see it's have quite enough now the o uh, lod so i'm going to search uh, lod i guess it's now not available uh, yeah we need to uh, we'll find after the create so at here on the details here you find that lod 
So at the LOD for uh, checking this LOD stuff, you need to go to complexity and squads. So let's give it that uh, the f uh, five or uh, three. Yeah, I guess the three is quite enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the three is an uh, LOD is zero. Okay. Other LOD will be ten. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess it's uh, it's good. Three, two, three. Okay, it's not look very noob or not look very, you know, it's going to be redux our complexity. <laughs> okay, now uh, I have a landscape. Okay, so if you check that we have a landscape at share. So compile and first of all, we need to save it. So save it. Now let's back to our original map, which is map one. And at here, here's our level. So what we can use so i'm going to here add a directional map and i'm going to make it as a load okay i'm not sure why is this landscape right now okay there's a go so at the layer and there should be a call i guess wall partition data layer uh container nope uh wall partition data nope not this one wall partition editor yeah there should be editor i'm not sure why is this why is this lever has been gone i need to check the whole partition sum uh oh yeah that is good that's what i'm looking this editor so we can choose it at like something like this we can move it as here blah 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 so it's really cool stuff so yeah so let's keep it at here and let's focus on our landscape design okay the first thing this is going to be our basics where our player is going to be spawned so something like this and i'm going to spawn him as on the middle okay so yeah our player going to be probably spawned from the middle okay this is it will be going to be start and everything okay fine now the second thing what we need to do we need to go to project settings maps and modes and add here let's give it for now the map one but in the future we need to change it so keep it mind okay uh, the third is we need to create some instance and save game mode as well. So let's create a, a system. Uh, let me just remove my this button hat here. Okay, now it's good more. Okay, so let's give it name a uh, system. So in the system, we are going to create some very cool stuff and very it's very neat. So first we need a game instance. So let's give that you uh inc or uh, ug uh ug ins which is our game engine what you can say instance yeah then we need a save game mode so we can probably save some data so you save okay something like this <clears throat> now we have pretty much the three things what we basically need and yeah probably we can create a uh what i can say um, detail uh, detail here or uh, you can create enums for now i don't need so I'm, I, I'm not going to set up and also in the all settings we can go to games ins so at here on the game ins we need to use our ug ins so it's going to be set up our game instance at here <clears throat> okay probably we have now pretty much everything which we need basically so yeah at the world settings i'm going to put our third person character it's it's not needed or it's not mandatory but if you want you can choose but yeah i'm going to skip also for the directional map uh, because it's a really cool high quality game so i'm going to give it a movable shadow and also i'm going to set it the landscape uh, the lux 23 also one more thing we need to do i forget that in our uh, landscape this uh, one it's have called uh, shadow as h a and we can disable it because we don't need it that's why and you can say or i don't need that so let's go back to our map and i'm not sure where is my level going oh yeah we need to make it as a load okay now we have this thing and we also need uh, one more thing because in unreal engine 5.1 there's is little bit issue call in with the sky lights so it's mean that if you drag and drop this one and if you click on like this so it's not go but some of cases it's also go so yeah you need to keep it in mind also for the visual effects uh, i'm going to use the processes but i'm not going to use for now because the processes is a, a last work and for the light you are probably going to be use sky lights i'm going to set up with some movable 
and click on save and for the project settings we need to do some control in our rendering <coughs> The first thing, uh, the first thing, the fast forward, we must need that and the FX and TTR there, I'm going to use the MSS, MASS, so we'll get better performance, uh, not for performance, you can say the more better sharpness and at here, uh, where I see the lumen, so I'm going to disable the non-lumen because I don't need lumen and at here, I'm going to set it to uh, 64, so it's not going to be give us a very cool or really a high reflection but a decent reflection but more better quality that's why i'm going to use this one okay oh yeah fine now for the virtual shadow uh, because it's a mobile game so i'm not going to be use virtual shadow. i'm going to use traditional shadow mapping as well <coughs> now you <coughs> listen bro why you are using this uh or, or what what why you are what are you doing uh, why I'm doing this because the virtual shadow mapping is most costlier than the shadow mapping beta that's why also for our anti-analyzing method let's give it to MSS and I'm going to uh, choose a 2x MXSS so it's going to be gives us more better quality but if you want you can choose the non MSS as well so yeah it's probably give you more better and everything will be good okay and you can see and it's quite enough have a good stuff we have a playable you know landscape and etc what we basically need guys i'm still saying this is very needed last of all what we need we need a preview render called estc 3.1 so why this thing this thing will be help us or allow us to see the actual shader okay it's yeah i i, I know that it's not going to be give us 100 percent accurate shader like android but it quite enough it's almost give you the 70 to 80 percent which is basically very useful so you can just say that okay are the trees or the rocks are rendering probably or not okay there are lot, lots of issue uh, anything else also okay now <clears throat> the third part is is my part i'm going to add lots of assets because i have probably tons of assets so i need to add them once i add i'll continue this thing because we need to do some rendering stuff so let me render all of this thing so i can give you some idea what i'm going to do i'm going to first of all going to choose some clear asset some vehicle assets and some environment as well asset as well so where our city can be start and uh, now about this seed i don't have anything on my mind right now like how was going to be the city or what will be inside of the city but for now i'm going to uh, decide as a is a simple <clears throat> you can say uh it's some city but more like a village so there's a not too much will be crowded also there's a not too much will be you know that if i if i say like the building so yeah it probably look good uh, yeah but some of case like you can say the uh, the town town the midtowns okay like that okay so i guess you understand pretty much for now in next tutorial video we're going to learn more so thank you so much for watching guys see you in next tutorial video